Happy Thursday, Gators. Today is May 28, 2020. I'm Mr. Duschel joining you from Washington, DC. And this morning, I have another amazing third grade teacher joining me. It's the wonderful Mrs. Motain. Good morning, Mrs. Motain. Welcome to the show. Good morning, Mr. Duschel. Thanks for having me. I am here live in Wheaton, Maryland. Glad that you're here. Ms. Motain, today is Spirit Day in this virtual Spirit Week, and we're celebrating being a team. I'm rocking my Washington Nationals t-shirt today. What team are you celebrating? The team that I am celebrating, Mr. Duschel, is the College Gardens Gators, of course, my favorite team always. <laughs> team Gators, I like it. Also in the tie-dye spirit. So hopefully all of you Gators today will wear your favorite team outfit or hat or shirt to celebrate being a team. Ms. Motain, do we have any birthdays at College Gardens today? Yes, we do have a couple of birthdays today. Um, today, May 28th, is Jabril H.'s birthday in Mr. Peterson's class. Happy birthday, Jabril. And it is Serene's birthday from Miss Harris's class. Happy birthday, Serene. Happy birthday to those Gators. What else could we celebrate today, Miss Motine? Well, did you know, Mr. Duschel, that today is actually a uh, National Hamburger Day? I did not until you told me. <laughs> yes, it is a <laughs> national holiday. I did not know that either until recently. Did you know that on average, Americans eat three burgers a week? Three a week. Uh-huh. I could do that. I don't, but I could. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love a burger. Yeah, and especially with the weather being so nice lately and we're getting into summer, I bet lots of people are starting to heat up their grills and have barbecues at home. So definitely a very good time for the holiday. Uh, Mr. Duschel, what topping on a hamburger do you think is the most popular? I, I would definitely say cheese, unless we go with like ketchup. Like, are we talking toppings or condiment or like we'll say toppings and you're exactly right the number one topping on hamburgers for americans is cheese and if you go over yeah so it's cheese followed by lettuce tomato onion pickle ketchup was a good yes too probably mustard okay well. i love pickles on my hamburger oh yeah i don't pickles like all the way yeah <laughs> it's it's definitely a love hate <laughs> yeah. thing with pickles, right? <laughs> but yes, everyone loves cheese on a hamburger. Yes, absolutely. Well, I was looking at that list of toppings and I was wondering what other toppings people like to put on their burgers, especially around the world. So I put together a few uh, pictures of some burgers that you can find. Um, the first burger here is called the Ramley Burger and it's really popular in Malaysia. So they take like the patty meat and they uh, wrap it in a fried egg. Um, so fried egg is a very popular topping there for their burgers. It's pretty interesting, looks pretty good. Absolutely would eat it. I've not been to Malaysia yet, but I will remember that when I go. Yeah. <laughs> so this burger is a vegetarian burger. So this is very common in um, India as street food. Um, it's a fried potato dumpling inside bread, and it's also, it sounds pretty spicy. I've never had one, but it says that it has uh, spicy chutneys, chilies, and onions on it. I would try this one too. What about you, Mr. Duchel? Ms. Motain, I'm so hungry this early in the morning <laughs> already. <laughs> I definitely was like, oh, yes, deep fried potato dumpling would eat. Yes. <laughs> and then you added the spicy pieces. I can't do spicy. Uh, oh. It lost me there. Oh, heartburn. No. That's what happens I, when you're my age. Yeah, <laughs> I love some spicy stuff. I have some, I have a high tolerance for Oof. spicy, so. <laughs> okay, does look good though. Yeah, and then the last burger that we have is right back here in America. This is a burger that you can find in New York. It's basically a regular burger just covered in mac and cheese. So it, it, they got pretty creative with the toppings here and just went for it with the mac and cheese there. Uh, I don't know if I would eat this burger. It might be a little too cheesy for me. What about you, Mr. Duschel? Too cheesy is not a real thing, <laughs> Ms. Motain. <laughs> I think that you used the word smothered on this slide, and I think it looks delicious, would eat. 
I have been to New York City many times. When I return, I'm on the hunt for this one. Awesome. Uh, thank you for sharing those delicious looking burgers. Now that I'm starving so early in the morning, thank you for that. And for taking us around the world. I love that. Yeah, no problem. We always end the show with students that have earned BIB stickers. Do you want to take the first one for us, Miss Motine? Yes. This week, Nina in Miss Rueda's class got a BIB sticker for being reflective. Go, Nina. Uh, she expresses her own ideas uh, in her Zoom meetings online, and she considers beliefs from others around the world when she's expressing her own ideas. So good job, Nina. Thank you. Then Loza in Miss Ashton's class received a BIB sticker for being a communicator. She earned a communicator sticker by showing knowledge of research on the natural disasters that they're looking into during her Zoom session. So great job to Loza and congratulations to both of those Gators for being recognized for the learner profile. Well, Ms. Motain, thank you so much for being on the show today. You have been wonderful. I am also starving at this hour, looking at all those burgers from around the world. Can't wait to have a burger today. It's going to yes. happen. Yeah, and be creative with your toppings. I'm going to search the refrigerator, and I will find some good toppings. Thank <laughs> you right. for those. Ms. Motain, send us away for today. Say goodbye to the Gators. Okay. Thank you for having me. I hope you guys have a tasty Thursday um, and a great day. Bye, guys. <laughs>